like and subscribe. <laughs> Something like what that. What do you want me to say? Yeah, you can just say also, you can also give a shout out to Xterra and yeah. stuff like that. And, sure. And then like and subscribe and see you, see you at the next race. Rolling. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It feels like it has been a very, very long time. Okay, we've had our head down, training's been going well, and uh, the next big thing on the horizon, we are going to Xterra Greece. So this year we're racing a couple of Xterras. That is kind of something different, not the usual for us, but yeah, very much looking forward to it. It's gonna be very, very cool. Yeah, that's, we're here in Sittart uh, in Limburg in the south of the Netherlands, and we're visiting some training for Xterra Greece, which is coming up in a week's time. And now I have to do some tubeless conversions. So went and got the valves for the tubeless extender, went and got the sealant as well. And now it's time to get messy. All done, after a lot of hassle and mess. We are here at Eindhoven Airport and we are going to Greece today, which is going to be pretty cool. Never been to Greece and I've yeah. never been to Eindhoven Airport. <laughs> and I've never been to Eindhoven Airport, so it's quite a day today. <laughs> but yeah, we are decided to go and do Xterra Greece, so this weekend we're racing on Saturday. It's pretty cool, never ever been to Greece, so it's going to be quite an exciting thing to go to, to go and do. And yeah, I hope you can enjoy this video. Um, Xterra Europe is supporting us as well. So big thanks, big shout out to them. Pretty exciting. Keen Rach? Yes. Although I will get a bit nervous, I think, when we get there. I'm excited to check out the course and see if I can do it all. Athens, I'm very greasy and we need to get a rental car. And then we head off to, can you pronounce the name of the place we're going to, Rach? Nope. Something like Vuela, Vuela Guemini, something like that. Probably the sweetest rental car we've ever got. Brand new C Class Mercedes, big shout out. To the event organizer. It's amazing. Let's try and figure out how to drive this thing now. So, Rich, what do you think so far? So, a big shout out to Ica Cars for this brand new C Class Mercedes to ride around with for the week. It's pretty damn sweet. I've got a heads up display here in front. No, you, yeah, you can see it with your own eyes. Oh, yeah, I can 
Let's see I can see something there. Unfortunately, our restaurant is closed. Yeah, we so sorry. But I will show you everything. Quite cozy, look at that. Oh, wow, the of the oh dang it, what you call a balcony. We can do a run on this balcony. Woo. Hot doggity. Run. Learn some Greek. Oh, well, this one is So, good morning, Greece, and good morning, subscribers and future subscribers. Going on a bike call, going to check the bike course out today. First, it's time for some breakfast, and we had a massive sleep last night massive it's like nine o'clock so time to go have some breakfast and go for a ride when we arrived so hi Russell how are you Hi, Rachel, nice meeting you. Welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you. I always felt like a little sardine in the elevator. Yeah, <laughs> we, were, we, we had to squeeze into the elevator a bit, but it was good fun. Maybe I'll take the stairs next time. So this is Mr. Costas with the uh, Xterra Greece, taking us out on the bike course. Welcome to Greece. Thank you, yeah, looking forward. It's going to be some fun. I heard there's some rocks and stuff. We're used to flat, soft ground <laughs> with no hills. So it's quite I up. I am used to flat, she, soft ground. She's used to no flat, hills. soft ground. <laughs> Here is one of the tricky parts because you will have to go under the under the bridge. Under the bridge, yes. But if you want cycle to across part of the bike course. <laughs> Coast side. There's going to be a net station there. So you go straight when you come to go for the second loop. Nice cafe, people will cheer you here on the passing. So you reckon the ice cream is the most important thing here? This one. Is this the ice cream place? Yeah, this is the ice cream place. 100% suggested. Yeah. Right this beach. <laughs> yeah, probably, but... You could probably ride that. Maybe those stairs. It's coming this way, you come up. You go for the first loop, you do the turn for the second loop, and on the way back, you go that way. Oh, okay. Looks you like I'll be using side. my trail shoes. Trails, <laughs> I think. Hey Costa, it's two loops as well on the bike, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Two laps on the bike course. Yeah. Quite rocky. And Amazing views, like 360. Guy ocean, pretty much yeah, all sides. I'm not going to check it anymore, so it really kicks it. It really kicks me so I get it right
bit of technical stuff. Weather is still beautiful. <laughs> Got hooked in the fence. So that was the bike course done. It was a lot more technical than expected. Uh, quite rocky, especially on the uphills, but it looks pretty good fun. Some single track, a cheap track. Yeah, bit of everything. How'd you find it, Rach? <laughs> But no, it was, I mean, some pieces are nice and um, definitely rideable, even for me. Some pieces are more technical, hence these scratches. Uh, I didn't come down yet. No, I know I just need to race, like, carefully, like, knowing where I should just maybe get even off my bike and just run. It might be faster. Going up. Mm -hmm. Dressed up for winter. You're dressed for winter, yeah. I'm also dressed for winter. Going for a little bit of a swim at the Nautica Club here. Very nice of them to give us access to this 50 meter outdoor swimming pool in the sun. I'm glad the sun because it's the air is a little cool. It's very deceivingly warm. It looks very warm, but it's kind of fresh. <laughs> Going wet to today? Yeah, I was cold yesterday. <laughs> yeah, the pool was a little bit fresh. Wet to a bit and then non wet to a bit. Here's your one go. to Richard Murray, a South African uh, triathlete with... Uh, sorry? Yes, now representing Netherlands because, you know, it's always the wife make the problem. She, you know, Russell took him, Russell took him in Netherlands and say, now you're going to be Dutch. So... Yeah, so uh, first of all, it's nice this season. We're doing something different this year and uh, Xterra is definitely something close to my heart. Uh, I grew up like racing mountain biking uh, and things like that. So, uh, so yeah, it's nice to be here and uh, it's great. I've always wanted to come to Greece. It's always been on my list of countries to visit. Uh, so they kind of fit hand in hand going to the place I've always wanted to see and uh, do, doing racing I've wanted to be doing. Quite fun to do and yeah, looking forward to the race. Thank you very much. Good luck tomorrow. I'll go. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit shocked by the course. I heard like, oh, it's going to be easy. And um, for me, it's definitely not. 
I already went down today. Um, so when I saw some of the other girls like flying fast, it's like, oh, what am I doing here? Um, but I'm very excited to give it a try tomorrow. And it, it's beautiful here. People are great. The course is great. Athletes are very great and nice as well. So I'm very excited. Thank you very much. So first of all, thanks Exter for having us here. We absolutely enjoyed it. Thanks to our, our other sponsors as well for making this possible because it's a different type of racing, different type of equipment. I'm very happy we got the opportunity to be here and hope we will be back in another race. I've always got to turn the, the, the volume up for age. I'll try. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, whatever you're ready. So we started here today uh, in Xero Greece. I really enjoyed it. That's what I need to say first. I didn't expect to maybe enjoy it uh, during the race. Um, the start was a little bit messy. I drank some salt water, uh, missed the first uh, guys. They were just too fast for me today. Ended up in the second pack. Uh, past them and then I ended up swimming by myself for most of the 1500 meters. Um, I was happy, I looked around, didn't see any other girls. Uh, a little bit nervous on the bike, wondering when the girls were coming actually. So probably about like one, when I had about done, uh, when I had, when I did one loop, uh, one of the first girls passed me um, and I noticed like I could push a little bit more uphill to kind of drop them on the uphill so they could catch me up on the technical parts again. I uh, started running in third, fourth place and um, it was quite difficult to see how I had to pace myself in the run because I didn't know really what to expect and energy wise. Uh, I ended up second and I'm very happy with it and I didn't crash today which is great as well. So yeah that was the race here in Greece. I felt like on the bike I was in the wrong race for some weird reason. Uh, it was pretty good, pretty good swim. 
uh, I came, I think, like the front, well, the front group out the water and uh, got onto the bike and the guys were absolutely smashing it through the trails. Um, I think uh, I managed to hold my own for probably about half of the first bike lap. And then, um, yeah, I kind of got distanced a little bit with other guys. Uh, and yeah, I crashed into one of the age group guys by accident as well. So sorry to ever um, kind of turned in front of me at the last moment and I ended up crashing into. Sorry for that, whoever that was. Um, and yeah, on the run, I managed to get back and I end up in fourth place. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Still building slowly and uh, yeah, we've got uh, time to improve for the rest of the season and definitely think some mountain biking uh, VO2 effort uh, is definitely on the cards in the next couple of weeks.